Hello fellow knights and welcome back to 3D Gaming. Shout out and thank you to our latest members, Uriel Rodriguez, Kano Tai, and Tato Tirkia. Now let's beat True Knowledge Elfin. Triple T Gaming. This powerful mage is the first one on my list, as he was the easiest to deal with. Well, except his annoying teleportation jutsu that made me reset faster than lightning. His firewall AoE on the ground is annoying too, and can surprise kill your units with weak magic defense. If you manage to pit him in a corner, you can abuse the AI teleportation bug. You can then slowly burn him with his own game. If you get bored doing this, then probably you need to do the one hit garote or two hits in my case. So here's my team composition, including the equipments and skills I used. My main carry is a two-handed claymore warrior with Garote skill, and absolute power to maximize damage output. This powerful strike does 300% up critical damage and would definitely take out a huge chunk of HP from Elvin. Due to his vitality and defense being low, this will probably only take two hits at max. Then two bishops with one zero tree and the other with motivation to buff up the damage, Equip them with Fate Barrier and Fate Awakening to keep them alive in the long run and have unlimited energy regeneration. The two bards with Oivik and Burning Loot would also help a lot especially when using the Eagle Ode skill. This will give you two turns to stack up on buffs and moving out of Elvin's reach. And I always bring an extra range or a magic unit to push Elvin out of reach when he's coming closer to my carry. Now for the strategy. Stay away from his magic range, as this can instantly kill anyone without Fate Barrier or Istaka accessory. You can use a bishop that keeps reviving to tank his attacks. You can even sacrifice some of your units if it teleports near your main carry to avoid a disaster. Just keep on focusing on buffing up your carry before you hit Elvin to ensure it will be a swift kill. Also remember to leave your range or magic unit to be available if your Garote does not kill Elvin, so that you can do a follow-up attack to reset his location. If you don't kill him on the first land, do not be discouraged and just continue to stack up your motivation buff again. All you need to do is one crit Garote and this will be finished off. And finally, Elvin will fall dropping a rare rune and unlocking the knockback rune shelter for your foot gear. If you have other methods, drop them down the comment below and help our fellow knights farm these comeback boss missions. See you online. Triple T Gaming.